So for part B, they said find the f inverse and split it domain and range. So our function f is equal to ln x. So same concept when we find it, f inverse means f, f inverse equals to x. So how we doing this means we're going to substitute the x with f inverse. So here we have ln then f inverse x minus 1 equals to x. Let me simplify this to get f inverse. Firstly, we unlock this. Unlock ln. Unlock ln means base e. So base e will go opposite become x become power. So remaining here will be f inverse minus 1. So f inverse equals to dx plus 1. And then continue, when you want to find domain of f inverse, actually it will be equal to the range of the function. So what is the range of the function? If range of the function, we reflect back range. We're going to remember Cassian. is special, not log function, not section. So our range of the function is negative infinity to infinity. Meanwhile, for another part, when you want range of inverse function, we will refer to the domain of the function. So domain of the function D S L R. So log. Yes, this is function that we need to calculate log. We have to identify log here. Within the log means x minus 1 has to be greater than 0. x has to be greater than 1. So if I put in interval, there will be 1 to infinity. So start from this part, we can continue for question C, where we need to sketch them on the same axis. So we were going to sketch function of log, then we reflect to get f inverse. So function of log, the shape of the function of log, shape of the function of log, tiang lampu, ada kaki, and then shoot up. It might be this side. It might be terbalik. It might be terbalik. Alright. So how we identify its shape? Which one? First, look at your domain of the function. Domain of the function is said x more than 1. Means it will go into right hand side. 1 to infinity. Means 1 onwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, until the end. Means this side is not in, not involved. So the shape of the log or the graph is only to the right hand side, 1 to infinity. Okay, so the shape, the balik ke tak, inverse or not. Then you see the log here. Is it multiplied with negative? No, so it will look like normal, so it will not the balik. If you multiply with negative something, it will be the balik. Alright, so after we identify the shape, we can start drawing. And because we want to draw the inverse function together in the same axis means we need our refraction axis. Our refraction axis will be y equals to x. So this is the straight line. And we're starting drawing the log. So log, where's the asymptote for? You read from the domain of the function. Domain of the function is it more than 1 means your asymptote 4 on x equals to 1. So you remember a function of log, the graph of log together always have its asymptote. So this is your asymptote of the log. So kaki log to tepi sini. Kaki log to tepi sini. You're going to shoot up. Alright, so that this here we have another problem here. When we shoot up, we have another problem. Does it shoot above refraction axis or under refraction axis? That is another question. Alright? So, I mean like this. Does it 
the list should above or it just underneath because your pattern when you reflect it will be different all right so how we can identify the graph is above reflection axis or under reflection axis we can test a point testing a point so test a point here let's say after after x equals to one let's say we choose a value let's say x equals to two so when we have x equals to two what is our function coordinate it will be ln two minus one which is ln one so it will be zero so from here we know okay this is just only starting in the set not yet not yet we can identify we can analyze it is going up or not so that's another value we choose another value so this one from here indirectly we find out the x in the set already indirectly we found that is an x in the set here which is x equals to 2 y equals to 0 all right so from this point we know we haven't we can't see it is it above the reflection axis or under so we test some more let's say i pick value i go far away let's say i pick value 5 coordinate of 5 i want to see the shooting here shoot above or shoot up we know so when i have x equals to 5 the function is ln 5 minus 1 it will be ln 4 ln 4 will be equals to can you decimal out okay 1.386 so means when you find it is 1.386 but if your if your reflection axis when you have x equals to 5 your reflection axis is y equals to 5 so your reflection axis will be happen at 5 5 but your graph only happen at 5 and 1.3 means your graph is below than your reflection axis so from here we identify that your shape of the graph will not go up and cross over the fraction axis, you will be low E. Alright, so based on the testing point you can see. This is your when x equals to 5. Let's say this is x equals to 5, refraction axis will be 5, 5 because x equals to y. But if your graph it just come to one point something, so it will be go below underneath. From your regression axis. So this testing point just to help us to make sure our original graph function is correct. Then our regression only can get correct regression graph. All right. So the next step, we are going to start reflect. Okay. So let let us draw this correctly. Asymptote and then put underneath. This is our original function f x. And in the set two. All right. So last step, you just need to refract. So if you can, you just fold your paper, and then you see your refraction image. So from this point of view, I only can see if I have vertical asymptote when it undergo refraction from here have the point of the point of refraction, I will get horizontal asymptote which is y equals to 1 after we do the refraction so it will happen exactly at here the place it touched the line of refraction so it won't be here it won't be anything so kalau you sentuh sini itulah tempat yang akan berlaku refraction itulah tempat image untuk f inverse all right so what happened to the graph so it will reflect going up. So try to draw as symmetry as you can because the image of F inverse suppose same as object. When you undergo in reflection, object and image should be in the same size of, of the graph and then the length also sama, jarak dia sama. And don't forget your intercept is 2. 
So when you're doing S inverse graph, first step you have to identify your function, draw it correctly. Then secondly, you refract it. Then last view. After you draw everything, you have a last view here. You see, is it everything label? S axis label, Y axis label, refraction axis label, function and inverse function label. If this function got S into S into also label. If the function have x intercept, of course, the reflection at y intercept also label. So when you complete label everything, don't forget your origin to show that your reflection line is past to origin 0, 0. When you complete everything, then only this one will consider a complete graph. Then this kind of graph will get full marks.